Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Uh, I hope you're all staying safe and washing your hands and not touching your face and all that good stuff. Um, but today I've got just a quick video for you. It obviously is a keyboard. So as you can see in front of you is a keyboard. It is the Logitech K230. This is a cheapy plastic keyboard uh, that you might wanna consider picking up, especially if you're working from home during these uncertain times. Um, basically, I, I use a laptop. I don't have a desktop computer anymore, but I have a laptop, and when I'm at home, it sits on my desk on a riser, and I use an external mouse and an external keyboard just because, you know, obviously it's a bit more ergonomic. Um, you know, there's less strain on your wrists and all that sort of stuff because you're not cramped over a small little laptop. So um, I bought this guy originally as just sort of a placeholder Holder until um, my new mechanical keyboard is going to come in, and I'll do a video on that when it does come in. Um, but this guy uh, appealed to me because he was pretty cheap, and uh, like I said, it's Logitech, so you know, obviously, you get the brand name sort of recognition there, so you know that you're getting a decent sort of product. But anyway, uh, one of the things that appealed to me as well is the fact that it's got a number keypad here. I don't do a ton of um, data entry, uh, but I do like it. I do tend to default to it when I am entering any sort of numbers. I like it much better than going to the top row up on my keyboard. So anyway, so that's why it appealed to me. Um, the other reason it appealed to me was because it was super cheap. So now, if you go to Logitech's website, they say that the recommended retail price, at least in Australia, is 40 Australian dollars, and that is not correct. Uh, you go to Officeworks or any of the other retailers here in Australia, you can find this guy and they're going to charge you probably about the same, to be honest with you. I think Officeworks last time I checked it was $37, uh, which to me is insane because again, it's just a El Cheapo kind of uh, keyboard. There's nothing really special about it. Um, I picked this up on sale from Officeworks for $15. So if you can find this guy for about that price, I would say that's the sweet spot. 20 to 25 is getting up there in my opinion. Um, but, uh, you know, 20 bucks, that's probably a good good, uh, good price for this particular keyboard. Anyway, let's take a quick look at it. Obviously it is, uh, like I said, all plastic. It has this weird battery cover here. Now, uh, one thing I will mention is that it comes with different colored battery covers. So you see it says Logitech there, it's got this little logo. So there is a pink one and a blue one, which I think look really tacky. So I just opt for the white one. And obviously that's where your batteries go and um, I mean I could do without it I wish the batteries were kind of integrated in the back here and then make this even a bit smaller but um, I mean whatever it's not that big of a deal so um, like I said it's a standard sort of keyboard it has these chiclet style keys uh, and it has a number pad uh, let's just quickly flip it over and you'll see here some of the, you know, sort of warranty information and all that sort of stuff. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the K230. Obviously, it's got your little extendable feet. So if you prefer to type with the feet up, have it on an angle, uh, that's your prerogative. Uh, one of the things I thought was cool, um, obviously, this guy is a wireless keyboard. Uh, but he's not Bluetooth or anything. Uh, it's actually a USB wireless sort of receiver. So it's just this little guy here. And it's one of these unifying ones, which is pretty cool. Because if you have other Logitech uh, accessories, like a mouse or something, you can just use the one receiver for, I think, up to like six different accessories, which is pretty cool. Uh, but what I like about this particular keyboard is that on the side here, and I know you guys can't really see that, but it's got essentially a little slot for the USB receiver to slot right into. So if you want to pick this up and get going somewhere, uh, you can easily just pop that little receiver out and back in again, and you don't have to, and it's quite snug in there. It's not like it's going to fall out. Um, it is in there. So, uh, you know, not a bad sort of design. Now, uh, one of the things I will mention about this particular keyboard is even though it does have a number keypad, uh, it is quite compact. I would say that the uh, keyboard itself is probably about 30% smaller than a standard sort of keyboard. So you have these sort of chiclet keys. They do very remind, they remind me a lot of a laptop keyboard. Uh, however, they are a bit more raised and they do have a bit more travel in my opinion, especially compared to something say like a MacBook or whatever where the key keyboard doesn't feel particularly nice to type on. Uh, these have a bit of travel, not much, um, but you know a bit more than your standard laptop keyboard. 
Um, as far as the keys are concerned, like I said, they have a bit of travel. Uh, they are quite quiet, so you can hear as I just, hopefully you can hear that, but uh, it is very quiet, um, so you're not going to disturb anybody using this. Um, the space bar is probably the, the loudest key because it has that sort of springy, um, you know, return mechanism in there. So, uh, but other than that, all the other keys are very, very quiet. So um, that's, you know, a plus. Um, the keys themselves don't feel terrible to type on. I don't have the largest hands in the world, so I don't mind this more compact form factor. Some other people might find it a bit annoying because, again, it is um, you know, a, a bit smaller than your standard keyboard. Um, but, like I said, if you're in the market for something cheap, uh, just something that will do the job, uh, the Logitech K230 is a good option. Um, and that's going to about do it, guys. Uh, there's not much to say. It works on Linux, it works on um, Windows-based PCs, and it works on Macs. So, uh, you know, you got one keyboard that kind of can rule them all. And, uh, again, if you're looking for something really cheap, uh, it's not going to break the bank and does the job, then the Logitech K230 uh, is definitely worth a look. But, like I said, I wouldn't pay more than 20 25 bucks for it max. There's no way I would pay $37 full price, which is where you'll find it uh, sort of priced at here in Australia. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like I said, I hope you're all staying safe uh, and you're not super bored. Um, I know that uh, it can be difficult in these uncertain times, so I'm going to try to crank out some more videos for you. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.